So we had a little, um, uh, little hiccup today, but we are uh, getting it going. We are in La Paz, it's nine in the morning, a.m. I think we're all operating on like less than 10 hours of sleep over the last several days. And, uh, but this is day one. We've got a lot of planning to do, a lot of detail work to get done today before we can like start having some fun tomorrow. But first things first, gonna get this car, go check it out. I'm working on an upgrade. Let's see if I can talk her into it. And then uh, get the money exchange, get on the road. Just remember that this place is the only rental car place in La Paz Airport, and it's closed on Sunday. Uh, so make sure that they have your reservation information on email, or you call the sale number that's listed on the door. We had a little freak out. Once all the paperwork was taken care of, we were let out to our car. Ooh, baby, we up in the air. So, something to realize when you're coming into La Paz, uh, like Austin said earlier, is uh, there's only one option for the car rental place at the airport, and they are closed on Sunday. So you need to make sure to communicate with them everything that they need ahead of time. So all that's handled. Um, they will meet you here. They did for us today. They came and showed up after our flight got in. And the elevation is gonna kick your butt. I'm out of breath just talking and walking from the from the terminal over here. So um, uh, yeah, I was pretty. Easy process, we're gonna get in, check the car out, and make sure it's gonna suit our purposes. All that was left was to make our way down into the city. La Paz sits in a giant bowl, and getting down into it can be pretty rough. So this is me going the wrong way. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Um, yeah, so I just did that. But I, at first, I couldn't tell the difference because people drive on every side of the road here regardless if it's one way or not. And, uh, yeah, though, that was still a little bit butthole pucker. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, if you are have to rent a car here, you know, I mean, there's a few things that you should know. You're gonna bottom out like I just did now, and I've, we've done on countless speed bumps on this trip, in a low car. Get you something that has a bit of clearance. It's not like your options are, like you have a ton of options, but get you something with a lot of clear, clearance. Um, secondly, everything that we've read said don't, don't drive here. Um, but, you know, filming and stuff, it, we, we kind of have to be in more control than like tour groups and stuff allow for. Here, if you could, I don't know if you can, if you can see the size of these speed bumps, but they're they're massive. So, anyways, if you're gonna rent a car, don't don't get a sedan. Get get something with some clearance. Very important. What do we see? La Paz. Jeez. This city is incredible. There's so much activity going on. We've been in the car for 10 minutes. There's so much activity going on. From the where we're driving here, you just look off down into the mountain. I mean, it's an entire city built on a mountain, on mountains of like millions of people. It's incredible. Whoa. I guess I'll just stop for this dude. <laughs> Have you ever driven down here? Am I supposed to go left? No, straight. This, this is just a new marriage. Got it. <laughs> that bus just said, nah, I think I'll go first. But Bolivia, I think, takes the cake. Places that I visited and drive in. Uh, it's a little clear light right now, but this, this is crazy. They're, they're, I, I can't discern any like general rules that every, everybody follows. I, I think everybody kind of just lights don't matter if you know 
if nobody's coming and you stop at a red light, you get honked at, or people like drive inches away from your car, pull up right behind you, like, and when I say behind you, I mean like, like within inches. You have to swerve around speed bumps if you're in a low car like this, or you're gonna bottom out. I can't tell you how many times we've crunched the bottom of this vehicle. Uh, man, you, you, have, you have to be aware constantly. There's people walking across the road, on the road. Cars are stopped on the side of the road, pulling back into traffic constantly, or they're pulling out of traffic. If you're in the left lane, people will turn left from the middle lanes or right from the middle lanes into your lane and across your lane. Um, there's no markers or signs or anything to indicate what's going on. And even if they are, if you don't speak Spanish, you know, you can't, there's nothing in English, a lot of, like a lot of countries have. Uh, dude, I mean, I'm not even in the lane here. So I just kind of pick and choose and go. One thing that everybody is here is aggressive in their driving. So you gotta just go, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but with all those other things, you know, all the way over. Makes it a bit difficult. Just that was it. That's fine. So our car sorry. is. Um, I am. It just continually. The alarm just continually goes off while we're driving around La Paz. So you know, and, and we can't turn it off. The batteries are out on the keychain. <laughs> Oh my God. Here it is again. Here's our car alarm going off. I think it's when we hit the bumps. It's when we tear the muffler out every time. It's like a parade. <laughs> you know what's funny? Even funnier is that nobody's even looking at us. No, they are. Uh, are they? You just can't see past six feet. <laughs> My eyes are jacked. This climate is not doing well. I am so red, and my eyes like will only open like halfway. We're living two miles in the air, <laughs> dude. We're literally next door to the sun. Olivia is kicking my balls, dude. This is crazy. Um, I mean, it's like Mario Kart. Cars coming like inches in front of you, whining and weaving. You're going up and down mountains, you're trying to figure out parking. Um, I mean, I, it's kind of fairly typical, but uh, my experience is traveling to South America. But uh, just be aware that uh, you're gonna need to have some good defensive driving skills um, in La Paz, for sure. Getting back out of the city is just as tough as getting in but in a whole new way. Remember how we said La Paz was shaped like a bowl? Well, this bowl has some very steep sides. Yeah, so we are going like straight up and we are so close to where we're supposed to be. But the, the, dude, this is insane. I, I'm having to go drive back and forth across the road just to uh, get up this thing. I have it floored and we're doing like three miles an hour. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it up this part right here. Where am I going? You got 200 meters left. That means you're taking a right. Yeah, we've been driving to try to, I've got 200 meters in 10 minutes. This might be it. Yeah, I think this might be the right turn right here. Oh God, here comes a car, bro. Just stay this way. Yeah, I yeah. am. See that? Might be out of gas, huh? Uh, no, we got plenty of gas. Okay, good. We got some air. We got some air. Oh, uh, here we go. We go. We're going. Holy sh! Look at that, dude. Yeah, just 
relish that, boys. Dude, this is insane. So we made it. We are turning the car back in. Um, I totally understand why we've read tons of stuff suggesting not to rent a car here in Bolivia. Um, La Paz is uh, uh, pretty, pretty intense driving. Um, so, uh, but it made our trip, our portion of the trip here, very convenient, especially considering what we do with the filming and stuff. But we are ready to turn this car in and, uh, and probably get a little rest here tonight. Uh, but yeah, been fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching our little journey around here and the vehicle that we rented and we hope you were able to pick up some pointers if you make your way down to Bolivia. Remember, get a vehicle with some clearance if you can. Um, if you need to get an automatic, your options are going to be rather slim. So go with a manual if you can and uh, enjoy your time here. Just remember the traffic is incredibly crazy here. So keep that in mind. Uh, remember, like, subscribe. Share our videos if you get a chance. It really helps us out. Stay safe and have a great week. Man, oh, golly. Fake speed bumps. Mike has PTSD from speed bumps. <laughs> so any shadow or a little crack in the road, he gives us all whiplash and cervical uh, strains. <laughs> See you next time. Porque le dabo, pani mataquilla.